Hello, dear friends. Chef to Yourself is with you again. I'm Jim Davis, and my co creator and inspirator of this project, Svetlana Davis, is behind the camera. Hello. Today, let's talk a little bit about pork. One of the, I believe, and I'm right, one of the most beloved dishes uh, in America is baby back ribs on the grill. But you know what, guys? Those baby ribs could be really, really tasty if you cook them in the oven. So, what we have here, one rack of nice, lean, baby back ribs, sauerkraut, a little bit of salt, sugar, our mixture of spices, we'll talk about them later, about one tablespoon of dry garlic, and Hungarian paprika. So, let's start. First of all, we need to cut and marinate our ribs. So, I believe that's probably three pieces for our dish, baking, <coughs> roasting dish, is gonna be enough. One, two, and three. Now, take it away. Now, let's marinate it. We'll start with salt. I prefer <coughs> coarse salt for this dish. Uh, it seems to me it gives more aroma and more flavor. So, let's do it. And massage them a little bit with the salt. Okay. Let's turn it over. And repeat this. So I believe that's enough. Now that's turn of garlic. Let's sprinkle a little garlic like this. Just a little bit. Turn them again. And repeat. Now, let's talk a little bit about spice. This mixture contains of marjoram, of dry parsley, of some chives, uh, cayenne pepper, and just a pinch of mint, dry mint, of course. You know, the exact proportion you guys can find in the description. So, let's put it right over here. So we we'll turn it over again and put our herb mixture on this side as well. And the last ingredient we're going to use here will be Hungarian paprika. Why? Because Hungarian paprika usually it's giving such a nice crust. Okay. Just on one side. The side which, <coughs> which will be the upper side of our dish. The last ingredients for our marinade is just a little bit more than half of lemon which we're gonna squeeze over our meat. Lemon in combination with olive oil is an excellent, excellent tenderizer for our meat. And now just a splash of good olive oil. That's it, our marinade is ready. Let's put it aside and we'll take care of our sauerkraut. Well, we put our meat aside for about an hour, probably an hour and a half. It will be enough for this particular marinade. Now, sauerkraut. Uh, the question could be, what sauerkraut could be used here? And the answer is any. 
any sauerkraut you can find in your local department store, uh, in your local food store. I prefer German sauerkraut. I believe it has a little bit better taste. So let's, first of all, let's taste it. It's a little bit on the sour side. And we don't want our dish be too sour. So let's wash it out. Let's just turn this and put in the colander. Now we washing our sauerkraut with cold water of course. We're washing depends how sour our sauerkraut. And now we help to get rid of excessive water. And uh, it depends on you guys. It's a matter of taste. I prefer to put a good tablespoon of sugar into the sauerkraut. Why? First of all, it's not going to be so sour and kind of a uh, sour sweet taste will give more aroma, uh, flavor for our meat. So, let's put it into our roasting pan. And here, spread it. bottom of our pan. So an hour has passed. So I believe our ribs marinated enough. So and we just put them on the bed of our sauerkraut. See how nice it looks. Now we covering our this with foil. So we're putting it in the oven, closing it. Well, three hundred seventy degrees for 40 minutes. So, let's go. Okay, 40 minutes, half past. So what should we doing now? Let's see what we have here. Okay, and now, guys, we're taking the foil off. Look how nice it's already looking. But, that was just the first stage. Now we're returning our dish into the oven without the foil and putting 40 minutes at th 370 degrees for 40 minutes more. Here we go. Why it's so slow? Because I want to preserve, I want to preserve <coughs> moisture in this dish. That's why I'm using a relatively low temperature. And of course, if the temperature is low, it takes some, some more time. So, we'll return here in 40 minutes again. Okay guys, 40 minutes have passed. Let's take a look. Wow. Wow, look at that. How beautiful it is. Let's take it out. Oh, mmm, the smell, it's killing. Well, guys, let's take a look. What's our final product? Ooh, look at that. Here, see why we put paprika. See how nice crust it has. 
And let's see. Wow, look at the texture. Look at that. It's totally cooked. Great. Well, dear friends, look, that's our final product. Beautiful. Remember, we put some sugar in the sauerkraut. Look how caramelized it is right now. It's beautiful. And we've got a couple suggesting for pairing this dish. Well, following the German tradition, probably the best pairing would be just good, a good glass of beer. But at the same time, my personal belief is that a very nice pairing for this is a glass of good, good Cabernet Sauvignon. Dear friends, thank you for being with us today. For your health and remember there is always time for cooking be good chef for yourselves be creative for your health we'll see each other very soon